Is this real life? Hold on. Um, something exciting is happening. I'm just checking to see if it's something that I actually can confirm with you. Oh, come on. I can. So I just got out of the shower and I checked my phone and I had a text from one of my pilots saying, possible trip tomorrow, no deets yet, stand by. And I just checked our scheduling system and there is a confirmed trip tomorrow with passengers, with me as the flight attendant. I am so excited. I am finally flying again. Now when I say I'm a corporate flight attendant, I can finally mean I'm a corporate flight attendant. <laughs> Hello, hello, good morning. My name is Jacqueline. I am a corporate flight attendant and welcome to my YouTube channel, Jacqueline Travels. Today, I'm finally traveling. So I let you guys know yesterday, I got a text from a pilot. He said, there's a trip, not sure what the deets are yet, plan on flying. And it's confirmed, today's the day. I get to work on a private jet again. I am so excited. So I'm all ready for the day and I just have one confirmed passenger. That might change. So we are running one passenger. It's a really quick flight. It's like 40 minutes total. And I think our director of aviation is catching a ride and we're dropping the two of them off. And then me and the two pilots are ferrying the flight back to base. So it's a really easy day. I'm actually going to Whole Foods on my way to the airport. So I haven't done any prep yet. I do know what I'm gonna be serving though. I will be putting together uh, a cheese and fruit plate that I'll have out so there won't be any boarding snack. I'm just gonna serve the snack for the entire meal once my passengers get there. Just because like I said, it's a super quick flight and it's really, really hot today. So odds are it's gonna be really, really bumpy today. And I have a feeling I'll probably be seated for most of the flight. I feel like that's what the pilots are gonna want me to do. So I'm gonna finish getting ready here and then I'll take you guys to Whole Foods and I'll show you what I'm gonna make on the private jet. I'm all ready to go. This feels like the first day of school. Like I had such like an adrenaline good feeling last night that I couldn't really sleep and I'm not exhausted. I'm just thrilled to be going back to work. So I've got my uniform on. Um, normally we can do like a casual clothes because this is a personal trip. We're just dropping off for what I'm assuming is a vacation and the flight is only like less than 40 minutes, but I like making a good impression. I like looking nice when I'm talking to you guys. I've actually never done the casual day on the private jet unless I've had a ferry flight. Um, and even then like it feels weird, but anyway, enough about my flight attendant uniform. I want to tell you guys that I'm picking up at Whole Foods just in case I don't have enough time to show you. So my girl Jamie from Flydesk came out with a great canapé recipe and I'm mimicking it. So basically it's a dried apricot and then you crush pistachios and blue cheese, put a dollop onto the dried apricot, drizzle it with honey, and then just garnish it with microgreens. So it's gonna look fancy, it's gonna taste delicious, and I think it's totally appropriate for the length of the flight that we have today. And then I will be picking up probably like pre-made wraps or pre-made sandwiches for the pilots. Generally, the pilots like to eat a lot. <laughs> so I'll have like a hearty meal for the return flight for them. And I don't know, I'll just probably snack on the same food that I have available for my passengers today. I am also gonna pick up some different cheeses and assorted fruits, just because the Italian girl in me, I feed people, I take care of people, I want everyone to feel like full and happy. So I'll probably end up putting an individual cheese and fruit platter together along with the canapes, but it's okay. I'd rather be over-prepared than under-prepared. I think my passenger, I can't remember if I told you guys this or not. I think my passenger is flying in on the airlines and then getting onto our plane. So I will be masked up the entire flight. If you watch my videos, you know, I haven't really been going anywhere. Definitely always have a mask with me. So I will be masked up for the entire 40 minute flight out there and we'll see how comfortable I feel. 
um, about wearing a mask or not wearing a mask on the ferry flight home when it's just me and my pilots. So I'm gonna head to Whole Foods now. Let's go on the airplane. My shopping is done and my items are loaded and now it's time to get, whoops, <laughs> now it's time to head to the airport. and now I've got to wash all of the produce that I picked up. I put ice packs in my little cooler tote to hold the sandwiches and the cheeses for my flight. So now I'm gonna make that transfer. So we've got coffee on board, it needs to be organized. My food's on, I have water. Once I make my food plates, then I am ready to fly. Pardon this look. Uh, right now I'm debating if I wanna bring the snack basket on board. Originally the policy was no snack basket because multiple people touch everything. But since I just have one passenger and I'm assuming the head of aviation is gonna sit in the flight deck with the guys on my jump seat, I think I'm gonna go get it. So I'm just building my fruit plates on the plane right now. I'm getting ready to make my bite-sized snacks. So I've got my avo uh, not avocado, apricots, and lightly salted pistachios. I'm gonna combine the pistachios with the blue cheese in a bag and mash it up. And I'm gonna put the paste on top of the apricots. And I've decided I'm just sticking with one plate. I'm gonna put them onto my fruit and cheese plates. Now I'm gonna smash this all up until it forms a nice paste. cleaning solution for the airplane. I don't know if you can hear me, but now it's my time to fly like a passenger. So we're getting ready to get out of here. Um, I didn't pack an overnight suitcase and normally that's my kiss of death because I had a turn. It was supposed to just be an out and back to Cancun and my plane broke in Cancun. So on that layover, I had to purchase a bathing suit, flip-flops, and a cover-up, and all of my food on what I thought was just gonna be going to Cancun and coming home. So normally when I work a turn, I bring a bag because airplanes do break, things happen, but I didn't do it today. Everything worked out perfect. All right, the boys are ready to fly. Let's do this. All right, I'm back on the plane. I just got the dishes done. So now I need to reload them. This way I leave the airplane the same way I found the airplane. So the flight that I worked that I had a passenger on was good. It was super bumpy. I couldn't get up. I was just chatting with my passenger and it was someone who I hadn't flown before and it was like a 24 minute flight. So it did go by very quick. They just held their little fruit and cheese platter for the entire flight. And then on the way back, I was able to go back up front and sit with the pilots and it was crazy, 
crazy bumpy coming back. We hit a pocket of turbulence and I was strapped in the jump seat. I had my harness on, but I flew out of the jump seat. I just got all of the dishes loaded, so my day of work is officially done. It felt so good and so exciting and so normal to be back. I loved it. I missed this. I love this. I love being a flight attendant. I love airplanes. I just love travel and everything associated with it. So it was like the best day ever. It was like Christmas to me. I told you guys, in addition to having my passenger on board, we had the director of aviation and it doesn't sound like there's any travel coming up in the future. So I don't know when I'll get to do this again, but I'll definitely keep you posted. My fingers are crossed that something comes up anywhere. I will fly anywhere. So I want to thank you guys for coming along on my turn, my out and back, my day in the life of a corporate flight attendant. Thanks for coming to work with me. If you guys have any questions, comments, thoughts, or concerns, just post them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please leave me a thumbs up for this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.